what's up guys it is jay dragon or you could call me Haley. it doesn't matter but right now i'm just gonna be channeling messages i'm not really i might pull a few tarot cards if i feel channeled to or called to i mean that's funny but um if i channel that kind of energy but right now i just want to clear the energy from the last reading and channel some messages right off the dome for y'all so y'all could be a rapper <laughs> It's funny, I just heard. Or an artist. Tarot readers also. I'm here. Um, or makeup artists. Or um, people who do hair. There's a lot of people here who don't need to go to college, I'm hearing. <laughs> or don't want to go to college. Oh, my life is going out. I need to get a new one. That's so sad. Really? Oh. Okay. I feel like that did that did it. <laughs> I heard good luck 777 sunflowers horseshoes good luck energy I'm hearing green and red pink and orange I'm also hearing lavender your name could be Charlotte um Chloe Zoe Hannah Jalea Maria Caitlin um david candace sierra madeline tori or i think caitlin cody colby caden I've also heard Ronnie and Ronnie Patience. Okay, so that's I usually don't channel names. Anyway, I'm also hearing fire sign, air sign, like water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer as well. So on to the messages. I'm hearing drink more water, um, but also be more creative. You know, channel your flow more. Your very potent right now is what i'm hearing like you could be very full of ideas or um energy and you may not think this but it's true compared to like maybe in the future you maybe um have a lot more responsibilities or you may not have these ideas that you have now i'm hearing like your peach has been ripened you need to eat it maybe you have fruit that is ripe in your house and you need to eat it before it goes bad um so you have fruit yeah, I'm hearing, uh, I heard LED, but cable, something about internet, but it's just saying, like, don't stress these things. Yeah, it's hearing peer, clear, clear your energy sometimes. Like, maybe y'all don't clear your mind, meditate, drink some water, put a candle, just relax. Carry for yourself is what I heard. I'm also getting like swimming. You guys might like to swim or work at the um, YMCA or pool. I'm hearing caregiver. You may be a caregiver as well, like a babysitter or someone who works for the elderly people. I'm hearing like you're just a very nice person. You're you're building lots of good karma. Um, I'm hearing you you could have lots of conversations with God or pray. You don't have to pray or anything, but some of you may. Or like you may be very spiritual. Something about celebrations and having fun and having a good time. Having positive energy and being really relaxed. Calm. Don't worry. I mean, even if... That's funny. Even if something bad happened, you wouldn't be too worried. Just, okay. Accept it. Adjust. Move on. Have a good day anyway. 
like clean your energy sometimes if you get too upset yeah and then like watch what you say like you don't want to say something that's like super negative and then regret it or whatever just want to keep clean energy I'm getting drawn to this lighter. It says FL211. Florida could be an important state, or 211 could be an important number. Your birth could be um, February 11th. Or you could be born in. Why would I say that? I don't know. You would have to be only. Thirteen years old to be born in two thousand eleven. Something about two thousand eleven could be important though. I mean, Ice Age. You could have watched that as a kid. Or something about a journey. Um, about it being a little bit uncomfortable or a little bit like challenges, meeting funny, weird characters along the way. I'm getting like Alice in Wonderland vibes. But it's like. There's something about just not worrying too much, just enjoying it and really getting to know people and being kind to them. And people will always remember that and they will be kind back to you. People will remember you. Yeah, there's something about people liking your work or what you have to say throughout your life and then being like nice to you or giving you presents or something. Like, I'm seeing bow ties. I don't know why. Maybe people like your bow ties. It's like a purple bow tie. The, the color purple could be significant. Yeah, I'm hearing Courage the Cowardly Dog. So, Courage the Cowardly Dog would, like, walk around and do all these things for the grandma. And the grandpa was always mean. And he always got stuck in these bad situations. And I think it's because of his karma, right? And Courage always ended up being, like, kind of the spotlight because he was being good. You know, he's trying to help out his grandma or, you know, his loved ones. He's having fun. He's trying to be a good person. He's always trying to be a good person, you know? Like, sometimes he would goof around and do some weird shit, but, like, always trying to be a good person. Whereas the grandpa would always just be mean to him. So maybe you guys have someone who's like mean to you. And it's because they're jealous of how amazing you are. Or the attention you get from your loved ones. Yeah, there's something about them wanting that kind of attention. Or not wanting you to have it. Like they just want it all for themselves. But anyway. I'll um, clear that energy for Anyway. I'm here and kick them out the door. <laughs> something about like if they don't want to be in a good energy... They could leave, come back, be in a good energy. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, you could leave the door open for some people if they go steaming out. Maybe you're just a nice, forgiving person. I'm hearing that song. Um, Red roses to... like to play the ukulele or you know just relax enjoy your life enjoy food enjoy senses enjoy music you may be a songwriter you may write about how much you love your life how beautiful the world is this inspires people this makes them feel amazing in the inside other music i'm hearing it makes them feel angry or you know, like, it's just not as pure as the message that you are going to give to people. And hearing casual, you could be very casual. Very, I'm also hearing humble or carefree. Inclusive, I'm hearing. 
you could not really care what a person looks like. You're still going to be their friend. And it's not that you don't think you're cool is what I'm hearing. Like, you think you're, the, like, really cool. But you're not the kind of person who judges someone based off of how they look. Because you know that they can't control that. Like, duh. But... If you're getting canceled, yeah, like it's gonna watch what you say if you're on social media. <laughs> I'm also hearing lead poisoning, so make sure that like you're not drinking bad water or something. Or I don't know. Or like not eating lead. <laughs> I don't know. But um I'm hearing raw, uncut, uncut footage. I'm hearing behind the scenes. People love your bloopers. Your character, your charismatic character. You can be very chill. Very um, funny, humorous. I'm hearing a relatable. Passionate. Stable. Or consistent. You may be consistently a good friend. I'm also hearing kind of emotional or unpredictable. I'm also hearing like cancer, like the sign. Does that make sense? So you could be a cancer. Your birthday could be January 16th. Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> um, I'm also hearing flamingo. Something about being able to do something really well. I'm hearing with one hand, time behind your back. Countless times is what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing fame, fandom. People will be your fan or look up to you, want your autograph or take pictures of you. King Candle. I'm not hearing flair, so there's something about the way that you twirl or the way that you live your life. You're just very eccentric, um, but you have like a flair to you. Like there's something that just is a little bit off the edge, like a little bit intriguing, alluring about you. <coughs> so you could be a little bit different than other people. I'm hearing unique, so Aquarius energy. I'm also hearing reliable, but also unreliable at the same time. Like, you could be reliable for a certain amount of time, and then all of a sudden, unreliable. <laughs> I'm getting, like, you just go ghost. I was getting this character from um, Monsters, Inc., the guy who is, like, the purple um, slithery dude. And he's always trying to, like, outdo that big dude who's, like, naturally born to, like, be a monster. It's telling me, like, use your unique powers for your advantage. Like, he would do that a lot. He would use the fact that he was invisible to his advantage. So you guys may literally be able to go invisible, to turn invisible when you want. Or just be able to, like go into the shadows like people just may not even know you're there one day because you literally didn't want them to know that you were there kind of vibe but like there's something about they can't find you if someone doesn't if you don't want someone to find you they can't find you but um you use this to your advantage you don't hesitate to like be yourself and know your self-worth there's something like because this dude he would never give up on you know being his best self being the best monster he could be or whatever so it's just giving like you guys are dedicated to being your best self and um very self-dedicated i mean strength card leo you could be a leo or have leo placements i'm hearing I'm also hearing rhino. Um, you guys could have like 
a very bold personality and hearing bold and italic so it can be like very flirty at times or very like soft and easy and sometimes you're like super aggressive or super um bold you know loud obnoxious kind of a little but but that's not that's a low vibrational energy that's not what i mean I'm just meaning like filling your space being loud like it's a good energy it's like comedic almost but funny you know sometimes you could just be more introverted than other times but like yeah it's giving like patrick star like i don't know if you ever watch spongebob sometimes he's in a, like a little bit of a mood and he's like just doesn't want to be just in his rock you know it's giving like that energy like he sometimes he just did not want to mess with nobody like and then other times you know patrick is like the main character so it's like you're not always the main character but you are when you want to be is like what it's giving and also patrick was very casual he didn't ever wear a shirt you know he just wore these like funny shorts with these flowers on them like he could wear bright colored shirts or pants i just seen 16 16 also 777 i just heard also heard 999 18 18 18 okay i think that's where i'm gonna end the reading i hope you guys liked it if you did give a good big thumbs up especially if you're here at the end of the video you might as well hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up and drop a comment see you at the next video i love y'all